What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and we're at the Intel booth here at CES. And what they're showing here is we have two systems running a Dirt 3 demo at 1080p on high settings. And on this side, you have the current generation Ivy Bridge with an NVIDIA GT50M. And on this side, we have the upcoming Haswell platform, uh, GT3. And just to show you here, as you can see in the video, everything is pretty much kind of similar. Um, you know, you are going to get a much better performance um, with the built-in card. But this is just to show, you know, that with the new GT3 platform that everything is going to be, you know, higher and you're going to get a lot better performance than the previous generation. Intel is also showing a variety of Ultrabooks here, and the newest innovation for them as far as the Ultrabooks go is the new 7-watt Ivy Bridge. What that enables Intel to do and other companies to do is create extremely light and extremely small Ultrabooks here. You can see we have this ThinkPad, and you can see right there just how thin it is. Not only that, it's going to give a much longer battery life as well. Good morning, welcome to CES. If you're just joining us, this is Intel Wi-Di, wireless display. So we're connecting wirelessly from a tablet to the screen behind me. So what you're seeing right now is what's happening on my tablet here. It's also happening on the screen behind me there. We're able to do that through Intel Wi-Di, wireless display. So Wi-Di has actually been out for the last three years, but now this year it's Intel Wi-Di 3.5. And what that means to you is lower latency. We're giving you 1080p resolution and even giving you the surround sound feeling as well. So I'm able to actually show you what's happening on this screen, on the screen behind me as well. But if I want to multitask, I can do that too. So let me get in here. So now I'm going to go into extended mode. So you're going to actually be watching a video behind me while I'm actually multitasking on my tablet here on the screen. I can even change the video that you're watching just by a flick of my finger. So now you guys are going to watch Flamingos. I'm able to multitask with my tablet at the same time you guys are watching a video. So you may be saying to yourself, how is she doing this? That way you're saying you are. So the way I'm able to do this is a few different ways. You actually have to have the Intel Wi-Di Software Connection Manager downloaded and already installed on your device, either your tablet, your Ultrabook, or your smartphone. Now once you have that software downloaded onto your device, then you have to have something that it connects to. Right now I'm actually connected to this LG Wi-Di enabled television. I know it's Wi-Di enabled because I bought it with this stamp of approval on it that says Wi-Di. Now if you weren't one of the 10 million people that LG shipped Wi-Di televisions to, you have other options as well, such as this Netgear over the top box, this is Neo 300, giving you the application on here to connect to your connection manager. If you don't want to use this, you also have other options such as these boxes here. But what's new this year at CES is we're demonstrating this small little Netgear box that you see here. This connects through an HDMI cable to your television and powered by USB, giving you the wireless connection to your tablet. But it gets even better. If you're not using this or any of those, coming soon to the first half of the, this year would be this little device that you see here. This device actually plugs in through your HDMI cable on your television and then connects wirelessly to your tablet or your Ultrabook or even coming soon to your smartphones as well. So whether you're connecting wirelessly to a television or to an Ultrabook or to a tablet or to a smartphone, we're giving you the ultimate user experience when it comes to Wi-Di. If you don't have a TV but you want a projector, we also have projectors now that are Wi-Di enabled, giving you that wireless display connection from the big screen to your device, either your Ultrabook, your tablet, or your smartphone. So multiple different ways to connect, multiple ways to have that best user experience. And now what we're doing this year is we're taking the standard above what Miracast has. We're mandating that you have the 1080p resolution, that you have lower latency, and that you even have the surround sound effect as well. So if you have any questions, come on over, I'll answer those questions for you. But again, it's Intel Wi-Di wireless display.